Hey YouTube, it's me. Just gonna do a little update. I'm installing the components in the doors. The Vibe Black Air Series six and a half. These suckers sound pretty good. Right now I've got them running off the CD player until I get the wires run to go to my new four channel amp that I'm getting in a few days. Anyway, so I had to make spacer rings for the, uh, I had to make spacer rings for the speakers because the window was gonna hit them if I had put them in there flush. So I had some rings cut at Audio X, the car stereo shop here, and had them, uh, they were real nice about it, helped me, helped me out, cut me out some rings for my doors. So I got the speakers in. I'm gonna put the, the, the original grills to the speakers on temporarily till I can retrofit some kind of a grill I may, or fix them holes in the door panel. I don't know when I'll get to that, but anyway, that's just, what's going on now I haven't haven't done that side yet so I'm working on that next but anyway they do okay for off the deck off the CD player power so we're gonna um, run them off the amp eventually so anyway oh and I'm getting an MB quart onyx 4.125 which is a discontinued model but there's still some available online like on onlinecarstereo.com they had six in stock whenever I bought mine and I didn't think the price was too bad it was $169 free shipping of course so anyway I was gonna let y'all see that these are some pretty clean silk dome tweeters can't beat that with a stick hold on there let's see if you can see that vibe can read that I don't know so anyway and they're crooked but who cares they still make the same noise I'll see y'all later and y'all have a good day fireman's out of town he'll be out of town probably for a few more days so you ain't gonna see him in no videos if I do anymore anyway we'll be checking y'all out later oh by the way one more thing I got this to replace my Clarion EQS 746. That is a an audio control um, 3.2, hold on. It's audio control 3.2 equalizer. It's got three bands and it has pair base with sweep and gain adjustments. You got sub level, fader, and volume control. It also has front and rear auxiliary and you can switch between the two with the source button. Then you can turn on on and off the equalizer if you wish. I guess that turns the crossover on and off. I'm not quite sure how that works yet. I gotta read the book again. Anyway, kind of a ghetto job installing it for now, but it works for me. I'm just trying to make it loud. I'm not being a show car yet anyway. So I got it to go with my good old audio control epicenter right there for the wind. Anyway, it actually helps. I think I've gained a few, at least a few tents, and it sounds really clean and really good. I may do a demo video later. Actually, those two first, those last two hair trick videos, I had this installed, so I don't know if you could tell much of a difference in the two. But I'll get with y'all. There's my old CD player, but it's a good one. If you can read that. DHP 6000 UB. It's got a lot of good features for being old. Anyway, I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.